Welcome Alpha Nation to our nation's capital and to Alpha's 2013 annual gala. This is my first year as national president, and I just want to thank each and every one of you for all the hallway conversations that we have had through this convention center, for saying thank you, for telling, you, telling me that you believe in me, for showing your support, for asking me if I'm tired. Just like Manny, I'm very tired, but you keep me going because you believe in me. And as my first year as national president, it can be a scary thing. But when you stop me in the hallways and you tell me that you're really looking forward to see what the future of Alpha brings for you and for our communities, how could I not keep going? Together, so, we've worked really hard in forging the new framework that will support the future growth and direction of Alpha for the next 40 years. At our last board meeting, we discussed that for Alpha to continue its phenomenal growth, like any high-performing organization, it must continue to adapt, improve, and innovate. I really believe that we have yet to tap our fullest potential, and that together with our members, corporate partners, our dedicated volunteers, and our incredible staff, that we will move this organization to the next level of excellence and be the best, bar none. The mandate that you have given us includes redefining our strategic in initiatives and top priorities, such as technology, where we are pleased to welcome Alpha's very first CIO, building a new paradigm to create a community of the next generation of women leaders through Women of Alpha, creating our leadership program so that it reflects the needs of our constituents, and ensuring the longevity and stability through thoughtful governance and succession planning as well as continuing to leverage the new platform that Alpha Institute provides. Our focus remains on adapting a new way of thinking and operating to reflect quantified value with demonstrated ROI, capturing that entrepreneurial agility to capitalize the effectively and effectively engaged leaders throughout our national organization, empowering them to act on strategic decisions while building trust through transparency, fidelity to mission, and demonstrable impacts in measurement through the use of sophisticated management tools and a solid governance structure. But most importantly, ensure a shared leadership approach at all levels of the organization that will allow us to successfully act on our long-term strategy and strengthen our revenues to endow our organization's future prosperity. We have adapted these initiatives to remain strong, relevant, and deliver exceptional value. All of this will not be easy, as all leadership has its perils. We will need to lean on each other in order to secure a better future for the Alpha Nation. As you find your way back home tomorrow, I urge you to fully embrace your worth and all that Alpha has to offer you. Push yourself beyond your comfort zone. Show the courage to be imperfect, the courage to win and to fail. Let go of who you think you should be in order to be who you are. Ask yourself, not what would you do if you knew you couldn't fail, but rather, what is worth doing, even if I fail? This will change profoundly not only how you lead, but also how you inspire others to create positive change so that more of us can have a seat at the table of success. Thank you.